So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 88 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 88 came out about a week ago and as always I will leave a link to this mission that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience so if you're interested yeah I will go take a look at it before they pull this mission back. Okay so yeah <laughs> this past week has been a wonderful week for anybody who is a Damien fan. That's because both in the anime as well as the manga the story revolved around Damien. Now for the anime it revolved around that one side story that took place in camp where Damien, Emil, and Ewan were taken into nature and they were able to basically bond even closer than they already were. And it was a wonderful story that talked about friendship and all. Now I did not see the anime version yet and I'm looking forward to it. But I did enjoy this particular chapter in the manga. And I was very happy to know that this was coming out. I did know about that because it is in line with all the chapters that are coming up for season 2. But anyway, this isn't about the anime, it's about the manga. <laughs> yeah, with regards to the manga, yeah, it wasn't particularly as wholesome. It was pretty darn ridiculous. And we see a very interesting side of Damien. And for anybody who is a Damiania chip fan, yeah, this chapter is one that you can't miss. And it really does progress into something where you're like, yeah, I think we can see some character progression in a way that the ship fans want to see it. But in any case, this whole chapter starts out with Damien getting these very sweet tea cakes that are really hard to find and very difficult to purchase. But because of his family influence, he was able to get his hands on some. Now the reason for that is he wants to give it to Anya. Mostly because of the fact that recently Anya has been supporting him quite a bit. She gave him her handkerchief during that one time when it became really important to have one. And of course with the recent incident with the Red Circus, Anya was the one that basically calmed Damien down. And so yeah, Damien felt that he had to give this tea cake as a gift. But not because he was very thankful for her. But he just wanted to even the score and get her out of the way. And so yeah, he had this plan that he will give the tea cake, everything will be even and he could basically get her away from him so that he could live in peace. <laughs> yeah, right. But when he finally sees her at school, this is the image that we are greeted with. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, what the heck is this? Yeah, this is a very cute image of Anya? I mean, Anya is a very cute girl, but this is the typical cute image of Anya with her round little face and yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, this is more like a typical character that you would see in a shoujo romantic comedy sort of manga. And so if Damien is imagining Anya like this, he is in a bit of trouble because he is starting to fall for her pretty seriously. I know in some of the previous chapters where Anya apologized, yeah, you could see that Damien had feelings for her. But this is starting to get a little bit serious now. But in any case, he does want to give Anya the tea cakes. But unfortunately, since this is school, all the other kids see him doing so and start gathering around. And of course, this ruins the situation. And he becomes extremely frustrated over the fact that he can't seem to find a way of giving Anya the tea cakes. And of course, from Becky's point of view, it looks like Damien is finally starting to make his move on Anya. And from Emil and Ewan's point of view, they feel that they have to protect Damien against the wrath of evil Anya, right? <laughs> so we're getting some very interesting points of view during this entire thing. And of course, since Anya can read Damien's mind, she eventually finds out that he is trying to give her some really good tea cakes. And of course her priority for those tea cakes goes sky high. 
And so now she's trying to figure out how Damien can successfully give her tea cakes in privacy. And so trying to make it private, the first thing she does is ask Becky of all people <laughs> how to get a private meeting with Damien, which of course makes Becky go, oh my gosh, this is becoming serious from both angles. And so because Becky is such a supportive wing girl, she decides to help Anya out by finding a way of bringing up a private meeting between Damien and Anya. Unfortunately, the way she does it is by <laughs> passing a note to Damien with regards to having a meeting. But because she's passing a note, it goes right through Emil and Ewan as well. And they, of course, get a chance to look at it. Now, in the beginning, because Anya's handwriting is so bad, they can't figure out what she's saying. And so Becky has to go out of the way to write the note. Which isn't that much better, and if anything, it looks like one of those really horror movie sort of notes where, <laughs> yeah, it looks more like a kidnapper's ransom note, right? And of course, this triggers you and, and Emil to say, we gotta really protect Damien against that evil Anya, right? So now, Damien's trying to have that meeting, and of course, Anya is willing to go along because of the tea cakes, but all these other kids are now. <laughs> Yeah, obviously hiding away and trying to follow them. And of course, this frustrates Damien a lot, which ends up more in an argument with Anya once they have that private meeting, rather than to be able to successfully give her a gift. And so eventually, after many arguments during that meeting, Damien finally gives up and says, I can't really give her the tea cakes, which of course makes Anya panic, and we get one of the most incredible scenes in this entire chapter where if this wasn't <laughs> Anya, and if we didn't read what Anya was seriously thinking, we would think that this would be the typical scene that you would see in one of those shoujo manga romantic scenes, right? I mean, Tatsuya Endo, if he does ever finish Spy Family, would do pretty good writing shoujo mangas if he wanted to, right? <laughs> but since this is Tatsuya Endo, he could take a scene like this, which would be a typically serious romantic scene, and turn it into an incredible comedy. And of course, since Damien can't read Anya's mind, he has no idea what Anya is doing right at this moment, and of course, this triggers him even more. But eventually, <laughs> this entire incident gets caught by Mr. Henderson, which of course makes it even more difficult. But luckily, because Mr. Henderson showed up, all the other kids ran away, and Damien and Anya are left holding the bag. Now, it turns out that it is prohibited to have gift-giving sort of situations at school, and Mr. Henderson confiscates the tea cakes and tells both of them to follow him so that they could have detention. And during that time, they have to write a report about what they did wrong. But what's interesting is during that time, Mr. Henderson comes up and goes, you know, we should have some tea. And since we do have these tea cakes, why don't we enjoy them while we're here? And of course, this makes both Damien and Anya very happy because Damien can finally pay back Anya <laughs> for all her kindness and get away from her. And for Anya, all she cares about are the tea cakes, right? <laughs> and so this turns out to be uh, quite a wholesome situation. And you actually see Damien become a little bit closer to Anya while Anya is sitting there becoming a little bit closer to the tea cakes. But even Anya starts thinking like, well, maybe Damien is becoming more friendly to me. And that means that she is starting to beat your with regards to who's going to be friends first. Anya and Damien versus Yor and Melinda, Damien's mother. And the other thing we find out that's very wholesome is that Damien's mother, Melinda, was the one that actually went out of her way to get these really hard to obtain tea cakes. And that was because, from her perspective, she found that it was really nice to see Damien have a friend like Anya, and she wanted to support that very much. And so it was her efforts to be able to get those tea cakes so that he could give them to Anya. And so from his perspective, 
not only were these tea cakes a way to be able to get a closer friendship with Anya, but it turns out to be something that he appreciated because he got closer with his mom, Melinda. And so this turns out to be a very positive, very wholesome situation for Damien. And he kind of looks appreciatingly at Anya with regards to this whole situation. But Anya, of course, already has her tea cakes and she's like, Oh, well, because of this situation, maybe we can continue on with the friendship plan, right? <laughs> because she wants to be friends with Damien, not because she wants to be friends with Damien, but because she wants to beat your, her mom, with regards to the friendship plan. But of course, Damien misunderstands what she's saying and starts wondering why did Anya hug him in the first place? <laughs> And he starts getting some really wacky thoughts, which of course makes him panic. But at the same time, since Anya can read his mind, it freaks her out as well. <laughs> and this entire chapter ends with Anya thinking Damien's a creep. And Damien basically yelling back at her that it's her fault as well, since she's the one that hugged him. So this chapter ends in the typical spy family chaotic way. But from any Damianya ship fan, I would have to say that this is a major win for them because this does bring Damien and Anya closer. Now, if you think about it, yeah, it was probably expected for these two to get closer. First of all, they have to if Operation Strix is to be successful. But at the same time, you could tell that eventually... Tatsya Endo was going to bring this friendship closer. Whether they will become love interests, that's hard to say. And considering how young they are, maybe that's not something to be considered at this time. But I think a very close friendship is something that he may be considering in the future. Not just for Operation Strix, but of course for the relationship. The general relationship between these two characters. So yeah, this is a milestone, and we probably won't get too much of this again until the next milestone that comes up. But this was a very humorous and very interesting story, and I did enjoy it a lot after that very serious story that we had with Winston Wheeler. And so yeah, this chapter basically says that previous Winston Wheeler arc is completely finished. And we can look forward to the new thing that Tatsuya Endo will bring in. And so it will be interesting to see what happens in chapter 89. And once it comes out, I'll bring out another video. I hope you join me at that time. But this is the chapter 88 discussion for Spy Family. If you read it, what do you think about it? What do you feel about this overall relationship between Anya and Damien? And how do you feel about the really wacky way in which Tatsuya Endo is managing this? Any comments will be greatly appreciated. And until the next episode, happy manga reading. And as always, giant nice day everyone.